Hey, hey guys, um, today I want to talk about the LSI, the saturation index, and how different things like total alkalinity, um, calcium hardness, obviously pH, and your temperature affect the LSI. Um, pH, every one, the pH goes up or down, every point that it goes up or down affects the LSI by one point. So that's the major, major thing that is going to affect the LSI the most. Total alkalinity is going to be every 20. Every 20 the alkalinity moves, it's going to affect the LSI by one point. Conditioner is 70. Every 70 the conditioner goes up is going to affect the LSI by one point. Calcium hardness, 100. Every 100 the calcium hardness goes up or down, it's going to affect the LSI by one point. Um, TDS is, is the least uh, you got to worry about. Um, even though it does get acidic as it gets higher in the TDS, it um, is, is basically acidic. Um, every 1,500 of TDS affects the LSI by one. Um, and then temperature, um, every 15 degrees affects the LSI by one. So um, these are all the things. Like during the wintertime, you have to readjust your water. Um, the, the cold water comes down 52 degrees. Cold water in itself is acidic, so you have to make sure everything else goes up. Like pH is just let that come up a little bit more than you would normally. Alkalinity, let it come up a little bit more than you would normally do. Um, and just, uh, especially if you got a, like a 350 calcium harness or a 200 calcium harness, that stuff needs to come up to offset that cold water. And, uh, and then on the flip side, when you go up to, you know, 80 degree water, then things have, you can bring things back down again. Because now if you leave things way up, you're going to be scale. So now you have to come back down again. So I'll show you on the saturation index um, by Bob Lowry. This is an awesome uh, saturation index it's by MPC. And Bob Lowry is the one that uh, made this app. Um, and if you want the app, you can just go in the app store and look up Robert Lowry. And he has all kinds of different apps in there. I'm going to probably go through some of these apps uh, in another video. But the one right now I'm going to show you is the saturation index. Um, that he did and it's an awesome map so and I'll show you different readings and all that how it affects the saturation index so you um, kind of get an idea and if you get the app then you can just play around with it yourself and find out okay if I raise pH here if I raise the alkalinity calcium harness because on the calcium harness if you start out at 150 is, is bare minimum calcium harness that they want you to have um, but when you're filling a brand new pool, it's really a good idea to get at least 200 in there, 250 in there, and um, and leave it at that. 200 uh, is what they want, kind of thing. Um, and then later on down the line, after everything is settled, after the 28 days, you can bring that calcium harness up a little bit. And uh, but calcium harness down at that low is not. It's kind of like acidic. It's it's um it will like if you if you fill a brand new pool. And you've got 70 calcium hardness in that. Well, that calcium hardness, that water, that tap water that only has 70 calcium hardness in it, it's going to start pulling calcium out of your brand new plaster because it wants calcium at least 150 to 200 um, is, is good. So you have to um, make sure your tap water, check that tap water when you're filling a brand new pool and make sure you have at least 150, 200 better of uh, calcium hardness in that tap water so it's not pulling calcium out of that plaster as it's filling up so anyway let's get to the app and um, and we'll go from there so let me flip this around here and let's see here alright there's the app so let's, let's put in uh, this, these are the readings that they, they um, would like you to have. This is what they call as uh, this reading. Let's go 7.5 on the, on the uh, pH. Let's go total alkalinity. They want 90. They'll suggest 90. I wouldn't say one. Let's say uh, conditioner 50. Borates would we'll leave at zero, but they can put in 50 borates. Um, I'll do another video on that later. Uh, calcium hardness, 350. TDS, let's just go 600, because that's basically what a new pool is, uh, 600. And temperature, let's just go 75 degrees. Okay, like right now, that's acceptable. That's a 0 .02 on the negative side. That's almost perfect water. I wouldn't worry about it being 
uh, corrosive because it's only a 0 0.02. So that is good. Um, and that's what you kind of want to shoot for uh, in a way too. The zero, zero, zero would be awesome. But you try to shoot for these levels down here. Now then, let's just check the um, your calcium hardness. Let's bring that down to 150 and see how that affects that calcium uh, affects the corrosiveness now now it's a 0.37 just from that lower calcium hardness so calcium hardness could be acidic it can make the pull acidic and it can also on the flip side make a pull scale so now let's bring that calcium hardness up to 900 and now your ideal on that one um, which is still kind of because your other readings are low your 7.5 now if you had a normal pool that you they're usually around 7980 when you get to your pool now you're scaling. That's 0.68. That's pretty scaling pretty bad. And that's just from the change of the pH. So uh, from that 900. So that's good. kind of that goes to show you that if you have a pool that's high calcium hardness, you need to keep the levels down to offset that high calcium hardness. So, um, and let's go, um, let's bring that back down to, to 350. And this app here, which is good too, because let's take away our con um, our conditioner, take away that conditioner on a zero, and see what it is. Okay, now we're at a point zero seven. Now that means basically, since we have no conditioner in the pool, this ninety alkalinity that is our total true alkalinity. That is our reading alkalinity plus our true alkalinity. And this app automatically subtracts conditioner out um, for the pH. So. Um, so you don't have to do that when you do the LSI like we had to do in the old days. We had to go through the math on it. So this app automatically does everything for you. So let's put back in the 50 conditioner and now we're down. So that just goes to show you again how conditioner affects the LSI because that's not a true 90 alkalinity. Um, what this app is already doing is let's go here and say our 90 alkalinity subtract our 50 conditioner times our 0.33 our true alkalinity is 73.5 that's our true alkalinity and that's still a good alkalinity so um, this app already does that all in there it's awesome so let me um, TDS here now okay on TDS let's go on the flip side of TDS let's go to TDS of 4000 in here um, and see now you how you went down to more of a negative so the more TDS um, is corrosive. So the higher that TDS goes, the more now you have to bring up your pH, you have to bring up that alkalinity, and now you're good. Okay? So that's how this works. The higher that TDS, when you have a salt pool, 4000 is going to be normal for a salt pool of, of your TDS. And uh, you want to start draining uh, a pool 1500 to 2000 above start so when you have a start TDS of 600 so when you get a, a TDS of 2600 or say 3000 then it's time to start draining that pool and dumping that pool so it's, um, it's 1500 above start um, so that's basically about um, about it and this app here I've already saved a lot of my uh, my customers into the Excel form so I have one customer in here because you got a view here of your uh, record you can it'll come into here then you can go up to share and share everything but here's one of my customers right here and her alkalinity this is a brand new pool so the um, the alkalinity is up a little bit on it and uh, we had it raining and stuff so the alkalinity came up a little bit on it and the calcium hardness is uh, okay and everything else and, and the reason this is, again is like that is because we're at a 0 0.05 right now and our temperature is 57, uh, 57 degrees so what I'm doing is I'm letting things come up a little bit I don't care about the alkalinity being 160 right now because that's not really my true alkalinity anyways even though I can bring it down a little bit right now but the, even with that pH at 7.8 um, in, in a total alkalinity at 160 I'm still the water is great the water is good um, that's almost perfect water so this is why she's got a salt pool too so that's why that TDS is up there so a brand a salt pool about 3200 ppm of salt you got a TDS already of 3740 um, so that's another reason why my things are up now when the summer rolls around for us when that water gets a little bit warmer those readings are going to come down on, on that pool because I'm going to bring them down 
to now offset for that uh, 75 degree water. So um, let's go back here and let's go. Let's just change this so again so you can understand how this is. Let's change this to 52 degree water, which are pools right now. And now you're at a negative 0.17. Um, which is um, a little acidic. It's still not bad, but, um, you know, it's just a little bit. And that's just from this here. Um, so, again, it, it's, uh, there's ways to, to take care of that, to bump that alkalinity up, um, bump this up to one, you know, and things like that. And then that's how you kind of, like, take care of these pools. So, um then anyways, oh, again, another thing on this app here, see, you can share whatever here. Um, let's just go to home office here. Let's use it once. And it'll take it in here. Yeah, let's check it. And it puts it in an Excel format. So it keeps everything for you. I have all my readings and all different folders on my phone. And, uh, and then when a customer calls me up, if they ever call me up, say, hey, how's my pool doing? And then I can come in here and say, hey, yeah, um, Phyllis, yeah, your pool is, uh, right now, it's a point zero five on the LSI, and, um, and your readings are good. Everything's good in your pool. Calcium hardness is still a little bit lower than that because that's the way I want it right now. Um, that's, that's perfect. 260 is good. And um, so, yeah, I mean, and then let's just go back on this. But that's pretty much this app right here. And do a search on the uh, market for Bob Lowry or Robert Lowry. And you'll uh, you'll get this app right here. This app is five bucks, but it's well worth the money. And um, so that's basically about it. If you guys have any questions on uh, the LSI or anything else that you want me to maybe post up, just uh, let me know, and um, and I'll uh, see what I can do about uh, getting another video up. But um, go ahead and post some comments down below if you have any. And if you liked the video, if you thought it was informative. Um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That would be appreciated. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Right. Thanks.